know I've run into you? What's in the bag? Well, I decided to brush up on my German beer since I'm, I'm planning a trip to Germany later this year. So I bought myself some uh, Paul Lanner. You ever have it? Classic German beer. I don't know why you did that because the freshest Paul Lanner is right down the street. There's a brow house. Okay, I hate to inform you, but this is New York City, not Germany, where they actually what? brew Paul Lanner. Uh, even that would be a little too far for the Urban Oyster Brewery by Bustor. Well, this is the historic Klein Deutschland neighborhood, the little Germany. That's why they put the Brau House here, and it is on the Urban Oyster bus tour. Come on, I'll show you. My name is Andreas Heidenreich, and I'm the Palana Master Brewer in New York City. Palana has actually a very old history. It's over 380 years old, and is founded by monks in Munich. We have 30 Palana Broy houses around the world now. And the concept is we brew the beer in the restaurant. We opened the first one outside from Germany in uh, Beijing. And then we opened Shanghai, a lot of it in China, and Singapore, Jakarta, and now the first one in the US. So people sit together, drink a beer, and have uh, German food, like our sausages, all homemade, like the beer. And yeah, we have a pork knuckle with sauerkraut and Wiener schnitzel, of course. We have no cakes. Um, we serve the beer directly from the dispensing tank to the glass. So we have no bottle, no cakes. And our beer is all unfiltered. That means all the yeast, all the minerals from the yeast and the vitamins are still inside. Yeah, it's an 8.5 barrel system and we have fermentation tanks two different types, we have the classic one and also the universal tank where the fermentation and the aging is in one tank. Actually this recipe is, doesn't matter if it's in China or in the US, it's always according to the law of purity. So we can use only the four ingredients, small drops, yeast and water. We have here uh, three standard beers. We have a Palana, the Munich Lager style. We have a dark beer style, the Munich dark beer. We have a Hefeweizen, with our three standards. And then we do seasonal beers. Now we have an IPA on tap. It's a uh, well, pale ale, Munich pale ale. And yeah, it's also, it's hoppy. It's the first time I made this IPA. And the people in the US to like it. <laughs> you see, the beer here is just as fresh as it is in Munich. You're right. In fact, I think I might have to cancel my trip to Germany. Oh, and I wonder if I can get a refund on this. Excuse me, waiter. Can I return this here, please? Hello? Excuse me. I do a presentation in the school, in the high school, and then I choose a subject about beer. And yeah, and then it was so, I was so fascinated. I loved it. That's what I love the Germans. You couldn't, a 13 year old could not do a, a report on beer in school. No, <laughs> in, this country, I mean, in Germany it's so. okay. <laughs> yeah, 